So I need to talk about what happened at training the other day. I was informed that we are going to be playing Hungry Hungry Hippos, and so I thought it was gonna be a great time until the whistle blew and everyone turned into savages. <laughs> Jay has been stepping to me all camp long. Basically, um, Becky came out of nowhere. Um, I was just trying to do my role on the team. <laughs> And for her to even come around our nest of balls and even think about taking one of our eggs, I mean, I locked her up. I had her in a nice little hold and I said, don't even try it, Jay. And she comes up behind me, throws me down, whispering in my ear, not today, Jay, it's not gonna be today, whispering ruthlessly, throwing me down. Wrapped her up, dried the legs, and just down she goes. I was taken aback, um, I honestly, didn't think that Becky was that way, but obviously I was wrong. It wasn't until after the training that I even heard about Mitch's subterfuge. Immediately, I look to my left and my right, and I see Becky behaving like a 7th century barbarian. Christy is hoarding balls under her shirt, and my survival instincts kick in. The only thing there is to do is disguise myself. So I find a penny. And honestly, if I hear Midge say anymore, work smarter, not harder, I'm gonna lay her out too. I mean, she's always throwing Harvard at us, like Harvard, Harvard, Harvard. She thinks she's so smart. I mean, I went to UVA. I didn't go to UNC or something like that. I can't even be mad at her because who was backing her? And it was sport performance coach, Julian. Did Julian aid you at all in this endeavor? Yeah, I think he gave me the penny. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about, and that's all I have to say on the matter. So, in retaliation, I snuck into the sport performance office and unplugged all of those GPSs, so no data for Julian, and you know how much he loves the data. So, that's it.